everybody, this is Sean Speaks, and today I want to talk about creative authority. Let's delve into the practical steps to unleash our creative potential and transform our reality. Before I get started, let's clarify what I mean by creative authority. It's your innate power to shape your reality through the words you choose, the feelings you feel, and the beliefs you hold. It's the ability to consciously influence the world around you. Now let's break down the process into structured steps that you can follow. Step one, recognize the power of words. Begin by acknowledging the immense power of words. Your words create your thoughts, which in turn create your feelings, beliefs, and actions. In fact, words have the power to create the very things they state. And our feelings give life to them. Consider a simple example, the stop sign and the red light. These words accompanied by their vivid color and our feelings about them create a clear universally understood command that influences our behavior. Step two. Reflect on personal experiences. Think back to moments in your life where words and beliefs have significantly influenced the outcomes. Allow me to share a personal, personal experience from my time at a law firm. I was constantly plagued by feelings of inadequacy and uneasiness, like I didn't quite fit in because I was black and they were mostly white. Now, looking back on that, I realized it was the words and beliefs about what it meant to be black or white that had created internal feelings that I didn't believe I could change. I had unconsciously adopted how I had to feel in the corporate setting because I believe that's how the world is. Those words, beliefs and feelings shaped my experiences. Step three, identify default patterns. Take a close look at your current life. Are there areas where you feel stuck or unfulfilled? These might be areas where you're living in default patterns, allowing old beliefs and words to di dictate your reality. Think about the social conditioning and training we've all received. There, these external influences have given meanings to automatic responses that might be incorrect. For example, I know if you're like me, I love watching a good love story. So television taught us that butterflies in the stomach or sensations in the body meant that you were in the presence of the love of your life. You couldn't control it. It's a pull. It's, I just have to be with you. But what if it means that this is a very person you should run from or an indication that you will have to fight constantly if you connect with this person. Identifying and challenging these default patterns is essential to harnessing your creative authority. Step four, challenge and embrace your creative authority. Now it's time to challenge those defaults. Ask yourself, are these beliefs serving me or do I want to create something different? Going back to my law firm experience, I could have questioned those uneasy feelings, those feelings of inadequacy, those feelings that I didn't feel like I belonged. And I could have questioned the conventional definitions of how I am to feel as a black person in a sea of white faces. By doing so, I might have had a completely different and more fulfilling experience at the firm. But at that time, I didn't even know I had the creative authority to do so. To illustrate this process, let's revisit the analogy of the tree falling in the forest. Remember, just because you didn't hear it fall doesn't mean it didn't fall. It merely went unnoticed. Similarly, problems and solutions can exist independently of our awareness. Think about it. How often have you encountered a problem or a challenge and felt stuck, unable to see a solution? It's like being stuck on the last two words in a word puzzle game. And for the life of you, you can't figure it out. No matter how hard you try, 
But here's the key. You don't give up. You let the problem exist in its space and you continue living your life. Most times what happens is we allow our problems to live our life instead of us living our life. You allow the problem to be a tree that fell in the forest. You don't let it control you. And then one day you revisit the problem. You revisit the word puzzle with fresh eyes and suddenly the word, connect, the, the letter connections connect and you are able to figure out the words and you, you are able to solve the puzzle. The solution appears, but guess what? It was there all along waiting for you to see it. This is the essence of your creative authority. Your words, your words create the things. You have the power to shape your reality, to find solutions even when they seem elusive. As I end this talk, I encourage you to apply these steps in your life. Recognize the power of your words, reflect on your experiences, identify default patterns and embrace your creative authority. Remember your words create the world you inhabit and the feelings of the experiences you have. Use them wisely and watch as your reality transform before your eyes. Existence goes beyond perception and solutions often exist before we realize them or see them. So if you find yourself living in an, living an unfulfilled life, it could be because your words are creating feelings that are shaping an unfulfilling reality for you. Now, armed with this knowledge and practical guidance, you have the tools to take your creative authority to the next level. This is Sean Speaks. And remember, brain health is mental wealth.